Good evening and welcome back to another edition of Life at Charlie's Rainbow Ranch. Uh, tonight we're going to break in the new grill with one of my favorite recipes of all time. Um, it's grilled maple barbecue chicken from the cookbook Simply in Season. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with three-fourths of maple syrup, or three-fourths of a cup. Never bought this kind of syrup before, so we'll see how this works. Could take a minute. All right. The syrup creates a really nice glaze on the chicken. Gives a lot of flavor as well. After we get the syrup on, we add our um, apple cider vinegar. This one is with mother. mother. Um, do not make the mistake of using the detox version. Um, it's very unpleasant afterwards. And then we've also got um, any kind of oil you want. I like to use um, extra virgin olive oil. Charlie, what are you doing? Nope. Okay, someone's getting a little bit excited on the reading part of it. Okay, for the apple cider vinegar, we're gonna go ahead and do three tablespoons. Only got a half tablespoon here, so we'll go ahead and add six of these. and then two, two tablespoons of oil. Another good one is some coconut oil. I'm not sure if that would go good with the syrup, but I like to use it on its own. From there we add one fourth a teaspoon of onion powder. It is usually a little bit better with um, actual onions, but feeling lazy tonight. So a fourth a teaspoon. And all these ingredients just go into a single um, container you can do Tupperware you can use uh, you know solid sealed plastic bag whatever you feel like um, just make sure there is enough room to put the chicken in later now we've got a half teaspoon of salt and then a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, from here, we're gonna go ahead and blend all those ingredients together. Um, Shake it for just a little bit. All right, 
once you've shaken it up a little bit, um, then you go ahead and add your chicken breasts to it. You can use chicken breasts, thighs, legs, anything you want. Um, it's pretty good on all, any of them. And this one's good for about six pieces. We've only got five, but not to worry. The sauce goes quite a long ways. And once we've added all of the pieces of chicken in, um, gonna shake it up a little bit more, and then we're gonna refrigerate it for one hour. Let the seasoning really sink in. After an hour, we'll take the marinade and pour it into a saucepan. And we're going to bring it to a boil and boil it for about three to five minutes. After that, we're gonna throw the chicken on the grill and we're just going to brush the marinade on the chicken and uh, flip it and continue to do the same thing until it's, it's ready to serve. All right, hey, where are you going? All right, well, we're waiting for the grill to preheat and the marinade to boil. We're taking a brief break. Ain't that right? The grill is all preheated. We've got our steaming hot marinade. Kind of turn a, an interesting brownish color. We'll go ahead and pop the chicken breasts on the grill here. Love it. Got a little brush here to base the sauce on. Be very generous with it. This sauce is amazing. We'll come back here in a few minutes and uh, quarter them, and then we'll go ahead and add some more marinade to it before we flip them. Let it cook for a couple more minutes, and then we'll go ahead and flip it. The chicken itself is getting a little bit golden in color, which is perfect. That means the uh, maple syrup in there is caramelizing, which is going to be perfect. So we'll go ahead and flip it. Ah, nice. Perfect looking grill marks. That one, not so much. At this point, I just dump the rest of it on after brushing each one. back the other way if there's any excess you can also use it as a dipping sauce but I personally think it tastes better just straight on the chicken
Give it just a couple more minute, minutes, then we'll temp it. I think we're all set. Last thing we want to do before we take them off the grill here is to make sure that it's safe to eat. It's got our digital thermometer here. Want to make sure that the inside of the chicken is at least 165, if not 170 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll grab the thickest one here. We'll see what it says. Okay, they temped in at 165. Gonna plate them up. And here we go. Looks like we're all set. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Life at Charlie's Rainbow Ranch.